Hello, this is Godwin Altidore from Youth for Christ Haiti. I thank you guys for supporting me, and I thank you guys for just being in prayer with me all the time. Um, I'm going to give you a quick update. Um, I'm going on four years since I've been here in Haiti. I was sitting down to start Youth for Christ Ministries here in Haiti. Um, it's been fun, uh, but it has not been easy. Um, we started off strong uh, with like, a few clubs around different parts of Haiti, and then we ran out of money. Uh, so we had to slow down or, or completely stop some clubs. Um, then COVID hit, and we had to stop everything. Um, all ministry had stopped. Um, it wasn't fun because I didn't come here to sit around. I came here to, to do a mission, to do a ministry. Um, but all that to say, COVID and the, the first couple years here in Haiti was kind of like going, like the Israelites going through the desert and then ending up in paradise. Well, it's kind of our journey because since COVID, ministry has exploded. Uh, we've had so many ministry opportunities. Um, we have church clubs that we do at church, churches on a weekly basis. Um, we have now started school-based clubs with the uh, Department of Education here in Haiti, where we have two schools uh, that we're piloting in hopes that we would expand uh, more next year. Uh, we have about 400 kids that come to our clubs on a weekly basis. Um, I have three staff that work for me, but we also have nine teachers that we employ to help us run these clubs. The kids are growing, they are learning, they're being discipled. Um, it's just amazing to see the smiles on their faces. Um, we also have a farm. Um, I applied for a grant about a year ago that was denied, but got a call a couple months later telling me that the grant was picked up and someone is gonna fund it. And so the whole purpose of this grant or this farm is to generate income within country uh, to run the ministry. Uh, it has been very hard running or fundraising for this ministry. Um, if it wasn't for a few churches like you guys and a couple other churches in Homestead, this ministry would not exist. And so I thank you for that. Um, so we went through the desert to get to paradise. Uh, we're not in paradise by a long shot, but ministry is definitely growing and um, we're enjoying it. It all hasn't been good. Um, three things really quick that um, has impacted this ministry. Um, recently, within this month, uh, one of our former uh, employees was on his way to Mibale, where most of our ministry is located, and um, he was stopped by bandits, and um, he tried to get away. He uh, hit the gas, and he started to duck as he was driving, and he got on a head-on collision with another vehicle. Uh, unfortunately, he did not make it. It was devastating for us, devastating for his family, um, and he leaves behind a, a small child, a small little boy. Um, another thing that happened is, in order for us to get started on the farm, we have to secure the property first. Um, people are on and off the property, animals are coming onto the property, and so if we want to be successful, we had to come up with a plan to either build a wall or to build a fence around the property. And so, um, I didn't have enough money in the grant, so I've been knocking on doors, asking churches uh, if they would donate. And so we raised a lot of the money, not all of it. And uh, in faith, I started moving forward in, um, in, in, in building this wall. Um, I went, paid for the material, and also some seedlings so we can start planting. But I didn't have enough money on it. And so I paid what I had, and I told the guy that I would send the money um, in a few days. And so when I got home, I called the gardener, the guy who works for us on the farm, and I uh, gave him the money to go finish paying for the material. Um, after calling him for about a day and a half, 
and not reaching him, he sends a story telling us that uh, he got robbed. Um, I'm from the streets of Homestead. His story did not add up. And so, needless to say, I don't believe him, but the money is also gone. And so it, it's a major setback to us because uh, we already didn't have enough and now this happened. Um, the third thing that has really impacted me on a, on a personal note is um, I got sick a, a couple months ago and uh, I didn't really tell anyone um, except for a group of guys that I had praying for me. Um, I got sick after coming from the farm um, in Mibale and um, I started getting sick. I, I wasn't eating, couldn't sleep. I was always tired at night and uh, started going to the doctors to try to see what's wrong and they couldn't diagnose me with anything. And so after about two weeks, I started getting fevers every single night and uh, it alarmed me. So I went and asked to be tested for malaria and the test came back negative, but we started the malaria test anyways. And I asked the group of guys to pray for me. And these are some praying men. And so I started to feel better, started to recover until now I, I'm fully recovered. Um, but recently I had someone come to me, uh, an employee, as the tax were increasing on the ministry and on myself, um, he came in and gave me a conclusion. His conclusion was that we were being attacked by black magic. Um, in other words, voodoo. Now, this is the first time I've even had to consider this in the time that I've been here in Haiti. Um, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in its power. I don't believe it can affect this ministry nor myself, but it is something to open my eyes to people not wanting us to succeed, Satan not wanting us to succeed. And so we have obstacles to endure, to overcome, and I'm, I need your prayer in this um, because it's bigger than me. Uh, this ministry is bigger than me. And so I ask that you guys would just partner with us in prayer, that you would join us, that you would just be with us because God has placed a heavy load on us. And uh, I believe in his power. I believe in his calling. And so this ministry is his. Everything that's happening, everything that's growing, um, it's all because of him. But we need your prayer. We need your support. Um, thank you for all that you do for us and all that you will continue to do for us. Uh, we love you and we thank you. Bye.